Hi guys, here is Henry. Uh, I'm living 100 kilometers north from Fukushima, Daiichi nuclear power plant, and uh, I'm reflecting on the nuclear crisis because it affected my life, life of my family. Uh, I didn't upgrade any videos in the last late days because uh, there are no no news actually on the TV. You know what is happening in the Fukushima. Daiichi and uh, all news are actually coming out from TEPCO company and uh, uh, Japanese government and these two institutions are just trying to downscale the whole whole uh, situation so uh, for me these are not the real news even sometimes it's uh, uh, you know some things happening on the YouTube like you could find the videos like last time I upgraded uh, when the Fukushima parents are trying to talk to Japanese government and uh, they cannot answer the simple questions uh, Japanese government cannot answer the simple questions to the parents and they run away from the meetings then we had uh, Mr. Amano came in, coming here the head of IEA I don't know who paid for this I mean he just came here and he prays all those workers and uh, how the situation is uh, getting better in Fukushima and a meeting with uh, Premier Minister Khan who is always, always, always tired I mean this is not the kind of leader you would like to have come on these people need some direction, some strong hand and this is what you get even he cannot put on the the, uh, the tie to show the respect to his own people this is what we do, I am the musician and I wear properly when I go to the stage because I have respect to my own people and uh, I don't know where they take this bravery, you know, not to put a simple tie on his shirt he's the head of this country anyway the whole Japanese government just showing how bureaucratic they are and how slowly they reacting on everything though which is including the the Fukushima nuclear disaster the food contamination they just raising the levels of the radioactivity which is allowed to be in the food for the children they don't care about their own people they care about the economy about not to make a panic in the country uh, but uh, simply they downscaling the whole situation and it is a joke to me so uh, here we are I didn't upgrade any videos because uh, there are no real reporters who would a little bit try to dig, it, dig in we have some like small scandals here in Japan they discovered again you know that uh, nuclear power companies are doing uh, really uh, crazy stuff to promote their nuclear, nuclear energy by uh, sending fake emails to the discussions about nuclear energy and uh, life is just continuing I didn't see, you know, I went to Shinjuku uh, I didn't see much people are really trying to save uh, the energy I didn't see big efforts because the streets were light up sometimes in the place where I'm living we have the lights street lights which are switched on at 3 o'clock afternoon when it started to rain but it is absolutely unnecessary to light up all those lights but still I don't know what is the reason probably the city is paying to, to the companies electric companies of course in the moment the nuclear companies are just using the electricity to try to keep them going on but whatever you know 
I don't see any real efforts to save the energy in Japan. And uh, here we are, another day which is just have to go on and uh, you switch on the TV there are there are the news from TEPCO and the Japanese government so uh, please take care and uh, see you around <laughs>